I want to bring three situations to you tonight swiftly. I want us to listen carefully because I know God wants to speak to people. We are rowing against the wind. We are rowing against the wind in life. We're not getting anywhere. We're up against an obstacle. We don't know what it is. And for many of us, it may have been situations where we feel we're getting nowhere. We're, we're absolutely bereft. We have deep problems. Maybe it's been a marital breakdown. Maybe it's loneliness. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's that we've tried everything and we still find there's no satisfaction. Maybe it is that we are in various forms of sin. Many of us in this place tonight will be from broken homes where the parents were not in that relationship. Some of us may not even know our parents, but God knows them. And God says to you that you are to honor your parents whether or not you know them. You are to respect them. You can only do that by the power of the Spirit of God and then God's blessing comes in your life. But can I say clearly also that if you are tempted into homosexual relationships and that's an engrowth area in itself for a large variety of reasons, I can tell you without doubt tonight that God can set you free from desires you know to be wrong, lusts that you know to be unhealthy, desires that you know deep in your heart you hate doing. God can by his power set you free if you'll turn your life completely to Jesus Christ. Yes, God wants your body to be his total temple. He wants to live within you completely. And some of us in this place tonight, you're governed, I know, by lusts and by adulterous thoughts and by circumstances that you know are not of God. Some of you are running with people who do these things, you young people, and I tell you, the end of the road, it may seem right to a man, the Bible says, but the end of that way is death. And God wants tonight, he's demonstrated his love for us, he wants us to know tonight that if you are rowing against the wind in life, through some of the reasons and many others that I haven't raised, you could be the same as the disciples, working in your own strength. When God says, I want to help you, and when they realized they were working in their own strength, what happened? As they realized they were working in their own strength, immediately as they realized that, they cried out when they saw Jesus walking on the water. They had a supernatural experience. And what have we had in this place tonight? We have had a supernatural experience. You see, you can have a supernatural experience with God if you will let him. And those disciples cried out to God. Tonight, you cry out to God if you are in the chains and the bondage of lust, of unbelief, of doubt, of fear, of peer pressure. Maybe some of you even go to a school like this and you're being tempted into areas that you know are wrong. And you only have to say, God, help me. Cry out to God. And the Bible says, the next thing that happened, when they cried out to God, when they cried out to God, God immediately heard them. Jesus came immediately up to the boat. He came into the boat. And what was his words to them? Be not afraid. It is I. Be of good cheer. That's what God wants to tell us. It is I, he says. Be not afraid. Be of good cheer. And tonight, some of us in this place need to be of good cheer and to know the peace of God. To know the peace of God because that's what God says. Jesus said, peace. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh, I know I hear your voice, Lord. Many in this place need your peace tonight. Oh, their lives are troubled. I see fragments in my spirit now. I see fragments floating around, bits and pieces of people's lives. And God, you want to join them together and make something beautiful out of them. I believe it's been a miraculous demonstration. I marvel at what God's done in this place tonight. I'm a spectator, 
and marvel at what he does. You've seen that demonstration. And Jesus is saying, why don't you cry out to me? The Bible says, whoever calls to the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Call unto me, the Bible says, and I will answer thee, says God. Call unto me. Oh, don't let that pride, don't let that fear of others, don't let that arrogance hold you back from calling unto God tonight. He has an ear for you. He knows every hair on our head. He knows every one of us by name. He knows every problem we've ever had and ever will have. But he wants to give us peace. And the moment Jesus came into that boat, you know what happened? The storm ceased. The storm ceased. And tonight, God wants to see the storm cease in, in our lives. Many of us here are caused up caught up in the midst of a storm. I see it in my spirit. You're caught up in the midst of a storm, a torment, a torrent around you. Open up to God. Open up to God. I did 16 years ago, and Pat will tell you, we have a marvelous marriage. All our children and their spouses know Jesus Christ. Our grandchildren, as they grow up, know the Lord. And we have a wonderful family relationship. Young people, Many of you one day will get married. Some of you may be living with others now. Now I want to say to you, God is speaking to your heart tonight. You cannot carry on living with somebody else unless it's a bond before God. But when you do that, you will have children that will know the peace of God. You will find that diseases will flee from you, especially those that are caused by fear and doubt and problems. So tonight I believe I hear the voice of the Lord calling to us all to be open to his spirit. And in the name of the living Jesus Christ, I challenge you, let Jesus Christ take your life over tonight. Come to the cross of Jesus where everything is made complete, where Jesus offers us new life, where he's taken every burden and every sin as we commit our lives to him let us be filled with the love, the peace, and the joy of God. God can do a miracle tonight in your life. Let him speak to you. Turn your back on sin. Come afresh to the cross of Jesus. Yes, you may say, Brother Bill, I go to church. I want to ask you tonight, is your life totally to surrender to God? How many people have you brought to Jesus Christ lately? God wants to use you. Is your life totally clean before God tonight?